Hey, I'm going to make this real quick uh, vid here. So I found some interesting information that was passed along to Hamed. Shout out to Hamed. And um, he shared a little link. It's on Twitter. Um, it's a small clip from a uh, from a conversation that Don, Don Raphael had with um, with Chris Mannix uh, discussing in part about the Devin Haney and, and the George Gambosa situation and why this fight fell through. Um, so, according to Dan Raphael and the sources within the uh, situation, who's close to the situation, he stated that the zone did not want to front up the costs um, for the Devin Haney and Gambosis fight. In other words, they did not want the fight. And it kind of makes me think about the tweet that George Gambosis put out on his on Twitter or um, social media. Uh, about a few days ago, and as I recall, and as I've looked around on the uh, uh, certain videos and uploads, a lot of people accuse Gambosis of lying, or he's ducking out of the fight, yada, 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 yada. But it turns out, from looking from, you know, the outside in, based off what Dan Raphael is putting out right now, is that Gambosis may be telling the truth. Perhaps the reason why the fight couldn't come off is because his own refuses to, uh, to fund it. Now, on the other hand, just because the zone doesn't want to fund it doesn't mean the fight. There's no chance of the fight happening. Now, as the um, as more information is developing, it turns out that the Australian government they're uh, willing to back the fight and fund it financially, just like how they backed uh, Jeff Horn and Manny Pacquiao. So, uh, which means that just only theorizing here, which means that since Devin's um, broadcast of the zone or or you could say broadcaster, but you know, uh, broadband broadcaster, they refused to front up the cost for the fight, which means that he would have no choice but to go to Australia and then succumb to the demands of uh, Gambosa and his team and where Eddie Hearn would probably be cut out in the zone, obviously don't want no part of it. That's probably was the issue. And and that, again, I think that's probably the reason why the fight has fell through, mainly because his own refused to, um, to back it. Now, this is one of the reasons why I don't cover the lightweight division that much. Even though I do speak on the fighters to some degree, it's because of the shenanigans like this, man. It's kind of like the heavyweight division to some degree. The only difference is that the heavyweights, there are some movement uh, from time to time. But in this case, when it comes to the lightweights, it, it's, it's just terrible, man. Now you got Cambosis who's been mandated to fight Lomachenko. The WBO has ordered that fight. So it looks like they are going to um, go, go ahead and uh, come to terms on that particular fight. And it's going to be staged in Australia. But meanwhile, I just wanted to go ahead and put this out. And, and you guys can share your thoughts and opinions about this situation. So it appears from the looks of it that the zone had killed the Devin Haney and Gambosis fight. All from a U.S. standpoint. So what are your thoughts? Should Devin Haney um, rethink his... Uh... As I was saying... Um, should Devin and Bill Haney um, revisit their um, their current relationship and their current setup with uh, the Zone and Eddie Hearn? Now, to be fair, I'm not going to put the sole blame on Eddie Hearn, but to be fair, he has gloated over the past and present times that he is the guy to go to when it comes to setting up big premium fights or you know big st staging big fights, and he's the only one who can get it done. Uh, but from the looks of it, man, this continues to look bad on Eddie Hearn, man. And it seems like um, Bill and Devin may uh, have to reconsider their relationship if this continues to uh, fall through when it comes to big fights. Let me know what your thoughts about this. I'm out.